Hey, how's it going everyone? Just back in with another sequence video. Uh, this one is in Jeremiah 23. And um, this is an amazing um, reference because I have another video where I go through Jeremiah and um, the last piece of it is the first verse that I'm going to read here. And so, because in Jeremiah 23, 8, it talks about God taking a group of people and then, you know, giving them their own land in uh, Jeremiah 23, 8, and they shall dwell in their own land. And so, um, that's the end of the last sequence video that I did. And then, you know, I can put that link below where it goes from Jeremiah 20 to 23. But the amazing thing is when you start reading 28 and then you go on again, it has the sequence again. Okay, so it's literally just looping it over and over again. It's absolutely amazing. And so I'm going to start here at verse 8, which is what the last video ended off. They shall dwell in their own land, which is the coded reference for the kingdom. And then go through it again, and then it's going to show the, the sequence again. Okay, it's absolutely amazing that the Bible is literally looping this sequence over and over again. Jeremiah 23, verse 8. But the, the Lord liveth with brought, which brought up and which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country, okay, which is America, and from all the countries whither I had driven them. Okay, and this is a prophecy in Deuteronomy 28, 64, and 68. The north country is Egypt, okay. And then from all the countries where I had driven them, scattered, okay, in Deuteronomy 20, 64. And so this is talking about salvation, okay, in verse 8. Now, in verse 9, it has a reference to the prophets, okay? And then those are the two witnesses, okay, Moses and Elijah. Verse 10, for the land is full of adulterers, for because of swearing the land mourneth, the pleasant places of the wilderness are dried up, and their course is evil, and their force is not right. Uh, verse 12, wherefore there shall, sorry, wherefore uh, their way shall be unto them as slippery ways in the darkness, okay? They shall be driven on and fall therein, and I will bring evil upon them. Even the year of their visitation, says the Lord, I will bring evil upon them. Okay, that's important to know. God is doing this. <clears throat> Amos 3, 6 is a good precept for that. Many, many precepts for that. But um, here, you know, and then Revelation 16, where the angels are administering these plagues during this time. Okay, verse 14, I have seen also in the prophets of Jerusalem a horrible thing. They commit adultery and walk in lies. They strengthen also the hands of the evildoers. They're all sellouts. They're all part of the government that none doth return from his wickedness. They all are them unto me as Sodom and the inhabitants thereof as Gomorrah. And so this is a reference to Sodom and Gomorrah, America being destroyed at the end of the great tribulation period. Okay. So we have a reference to the prophets, which are the two witnesses. And then we have a reference to Sodom and Gomorrah, modern day America. Verse 15, therefore, thus says the Lord of hosts concerning the prophets, behold, I'll feed them with wormwood and make them drink the water of gall. And from the prophets of Jerusalem is profaneness gone forth all in the land. If you read Revelation 16, part of those plagues, is affecting the water supply, you know, and then uh, turning it to blood. Verse 16, Thus says the Lord of hosts, Hearken not unto the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you. They make you vain. They speak a vision in their own heart and not of the mouth of the Lord. They're just making up stuff. And I see that every single day on YouTube. Um, no one except me I've ever heard cited God when they talk about something prophetic. Verse 17, They, they say still unto them that despise me, uh, the Lord has said, ye shall have peace. And they say unto everyone that walketh after the imagination of his own heart, no evil shall come upon you. They're going to be prophesying smooth things. Don't worry. You're good. You're going to be saved. All that kind of stuff. So those verses are the time of the great tribulation, God bringing plagues during the time of the two witnesses. And then they're going to be headquartered in modern day Sodom, spiritually Sodom in Egypt. Okay. Now we're going to have a reference to Christ returning with his elect. Verse 18, for uh, who hath stood in the council of the Lord and hath perceived and heard his word. That's a code of reference to his elect. Who hath, uh, who hath marked his word and heard it? Okay, that's a code of reference for God's electness in verse 18, 666. Okay, and so uh, God, uh, Christ is going to be returning with his elect. Okay, and then this is an amazing reference here, which just shows how consistent the Bible is. Jeremiah and Isaiah and Zechariah, all these Israelites are saying the same thing. Okay, verse 19, Behold, a whirlwind of the Lord has gone forth in fury. Even a grievous whirlwind, it shall fall grievously upon the head of the wicked. So it's got to be from above. Okay. And that's supported in Isaiah 66, 15. And so the language is, is all the same. Okay. They're different people, but it's the same God. Isaiah 66, 15, 666. Okay. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. Okay, verse 20, the anger of the Lord shall not return until he have executed, until he hath performed the thoughts of his hearts, his heart, God's heart, to put it in, in the other nations, to burn America. In the latter days, ye shall consider it perfectly. Okay, we'll understand. 
Okay, so 18, 19, and 20 mimics exactly what's going on in, in the book of Isaiah. And, um, you know, it's, it's amazing, you know, that um, all the language is absolutely consistent. Okay, um, verse 29, is not my word like as a fire? This is real fire on earth. Okay, saith the Lord, and like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces. Verse 34, 444, FFS, 666. As for the, and as for the prophet, the priest, and the people that shall say the burden of the Lord, I will, I will even punish that man and his house. Okay, so now we have these three groups of people that um, God is going to destroy. And that's consistent again with Zephaniah, Zechariah 11, 8 and Revelation 16, where it talks about these frogs. Okay, these three frogs. Uh, Zechariah 11, 8, the three shepherds also I will cut off in one month. And my soul lulled them and their soul abhorred me. This is God's left-hand side that he's destroying. Okay. And so that's the same reference in um, Revelation 16 um, with the frogs. Okay. Um, Revelation 16, 13. Uh, and I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon, out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophet. Okay. And so these uh, three quote-unquote unclean spirits are the exact language that's here in three shepherds. And then it's the exact language here in Isaiah 60, uh, sorry, in Jeremiah 23, um, talking about these three groups of people, the prophet, the priest, and the people, okay? And so it's amazing, you know, again, I'm just, it's absolutely, just from a structural perspective, I find the Bible absolutely fascinating because Jeremiah, Isaiah, Zechariah, and Revelation are all saying the exact same thing. I'll read verse 34 again, 444, FFF, 666. And as for the prophet, the priest, and the people, uh, that shall say the burden of the Lord, I will even punish that man and his house. Okay. Uh, verse 36, and the burden of the Lord shall ye mention no more for every man's word shall be his burden. For ye have perverted the words of the living God and of the Lord of hosts, our God. That's in verse 36, 666. Okay. And so that's the time of that 30 day period that I read in Zechariah 11, 8, where God is going to destroy his entire left hand side. Okay. 666. Everybody who's um, either taken the mark or worship the image of the beast. Okay. Then we have a coded reference in verse 39 for the kingdom, the city that I gave to you and your fathers. Okay, so Jeremiah 23 follows the sequence perfectly. Hope everyone's doing well. Bye.